stations, check that the fuel is on, check the right engine captain's tightened down, check that all the controls are working. There you see the board. Then we'll see the five second board turn as it does. Within the next five seconds, that mechanical metal gate will drop. And it does. The race is underway. The first race of the 1990 World 500cc Motocross Championship gets underway. The riders pour into that first corner. David Thorpe way down at the back there. Who is it that's got the whole shot? It's the Australian number two. It's Lee's on the HRC Honda. He's closely followed by 75. It is Johnny Slop, the local rider. But it's the Australian that is away in the sand. And now we see it's Joe there, number six in second place on the very modified Yamaha, the 490 water-cooled Yamaha. No longer a production machine. This is a special just made for Joe. But it's the Australian lease that at the moment has the legs on the rest of the field as the riders begin to pace their way through. One down there in the sand and looking just a little second hand as he walks back to his machine trying to avoid the rest of the pack that stream past him. But there is the Australian. It's Leask. Last year, remember, he was out in front and he ran out of fuel on the second from last lap. Joe with his second. And Jackie Martins riding with a Luxembourg licence. He's in there in third position at the moment. So it's the Australian least that leads. Joe of the Belgium second. And you can see here in our action replay exactly what happens if you lack concentration for just a moment in this deep sand. It takes no prisoners. Here you see the rider on the floor as the remaining bunch take a void in action to miss him. But the Australian number two lease certainly has his sights set on that number one plate of David Thorpe's for 1990. He's away out in front quite convincingly.